guys welcome back to another video it's been a, a really long time since i've uploaded but um this summer i'm getting back into it uploading better content more often but um right now currently just chilling in the uh dane tree rainforest it's beautiful out here one of the best places i've ever been to in my opinion um just having a little explore out here today seeing what i can find swimming in the river here with the mast there's a lot of life here like so um that's been pretty good but so far it's pretty good tomorrow morning heading out early onto the great barrier reef hopefully the outer reef if we can get out that far and um got all the spear guns all the fishing gear it's gonna be a great day it'll be a little bit windy but still still awesome nonetheless so um hopefully we get some really good fish so yeah see you down there now the reefs might be the most beautiful thing I've ever seen but the rainforest is equally just as good like this little spot I'm sitting here it's just it's just perfect little little waterfall and I don't know what it is it's just it's beautiful I say see you out there but the chances are I'm probably going to spend another 10 minutes of this video just talking and walking around the rainforest so um yeah <laughs> so yeah so we got back from the rainforest and me and my brother, the first thing we decided to do was go straight down to the river with one rod, one big piece of bait. We we're just going to fling it out there and hope for the best. We knew there was a lot of sharks there, but that's all we knew. Never fished it before, never seen anyone else fishing it before. So we were basically just going there and hoping for the best, which as you guys will see next, turned out pretty good. Mm -hmm. Trying to stop whatever this is. I think it might be a bull shark. <laughs> Just gonna let it run and tire out because we've already lost two tonight and this is the last hook, so I don't want to lose another one. Maybe drag a little bit there, but whatever it is, assuming it's a bull shark because it feels like one, it's taken off. And I'm only using 30 pound leader here, so that's probably why we've been bit off the road, so. Yeah. This thing ain't stopping anytime soon. And if that phone dies, just get the GoPro going. Fucking hell, they're so violent. Like the head shakes on these things are crazy. My drag is almost locked right now, like it is tight. There we go, and he's busted me off again. Now, we didn't get much footage of this night because the GoPro was almost dead, our phones were almost dead, we really couldn't film too much, but we were fighting this fish for about two hours after this. Now, as you guys will see in a minute, some of this footage is pretty heartbreaking, but by this point, a whole bunch of people had swarmed around us. We had a whole crowd helping us out. There's not much footage, but we've got what we've got, so yeah. The next morning, loaded up the boat and headed out to the reefs. We've come up on this reef now and the visibility looks way better than the last few reefs we've dived. Uh, so yeah, hopefully we can actually pull some good fish out of this one. So not wasting any time here, getting straight into it. From the east side of America, where we choose pride of a
character and we can pick sides but this is us this is us this is i live on the west side of america where they spin lies into fairy dust and we can pick sides but this is us this is us this is i don't believe in narcissism when everyone projects and expects you to listen to them make no mistake i live in a prison that i build myself it is my religion and they say that i am the sick boy easy to say when you don't take the risk boy welcome to the narcissism we're united under our indifference and i'm from the east side of america when we are sensitized by hysteria we can pick sides but this is us this is us this is i live on the west side of america where they spin lies the fairy dust So we've just come out of the water from our dive then. Um, since I'm pretty new to the Great Barrier Reef, I wasn't the best with my accuracy or anything like that, so I only landed two fish, this nice sized coral trout. And uh, this green job fish, which may or may not be a little bit small. Yeah. Anyway, we're in a pretty big rush to get back before the wind kicks in, so we'll see you when we get back there. Alright, so um, we're racing back in to get in before the wind picks up, but it was a pretty good dive overall. Landed two fish, but not bad. Real decent coral trout. And a job fish, a little bit small, but not too bad overall, so... I'm back at the house now, about to clean these fish up and cook them up. Uh, the green job fish, I'm gonna do ceviche and then I'm just gonna fry him up. So yeah, I'm gonna just knock out the filleting as quickly as possible and then yeah, get to cooking. Look at the quality of that, mate. That's on the coral trout and then these are from the, um, the job fish. Uh, so I've got the job fish ceviche ready to go. Got the little bowl with some lime and some lemon and some onion and I'll add some coriander but got the fish. I just did one fillet for now. Um, so yeah, we'll just go on and uh, dump them in. That looks pretty tasty. Alright, so unfortunately the GoPro has gone flat so I'm just going to be stuck using the iPhone but we've got eight bits of fish here the whole coral trout and a couple bits of the um the job fish so we're just going to chuck it straight on the barbie while the ceviche cooks it's 
been a couple minutes. Time to flip. Alright, so the job fish are pretty much ready to go. Coral trout could do with a little bit longer. Coral trout's finally getting ready, so take that off as well. Alrighty, so unfortunately the GoPro died, so I'm still filming on iPhone, but got myself me fish. The rest of the family's polishing off the rest of it, but I wanted to come over here where there wasn't as much noise. So we have coral trout here, um, green job fish here, and green job fish ceviche here. So give it a quick taste, see how it goes. So we'll try the uh, ceviche first. Never had ceviche before, so hopefully it's all right. It's sour, but it's pretty tasty. I rate that. So, ceviche is basically just raw fish put in like a, um, what do you call it? Like a mixture of like lemon and lime juice. And the acids basically just cook the outside of the fish and the inside remains raw. Next up, we just got the cooked job fish here. Let's taste some of that. I think I might have overcooked this one a little bit, but. 10 out of 10, that's amazing. And we'll try the coral trout. Already know that'll be amazing, but still. Got a bone, but she'll be right. So I'm gonna polish off the rest of this, but I'm probably gonna end this video here and I'm gonna go back and polish off the rest of this food, so. I'll see you guys in the next one. I'll most likely be back home in the uh, great state of Victoria, fishing, diving all through the summer, doing the same thing. So can't wait to see you guys back there. But until then, see ya.